Jeff, today we're in Hollywood, Maryland, St. Mary's County, and this is the Soderley Plantation. Nancy Easterling is the executive director. Uh, can you, first of all, give us a little history? Well, Soderley Plantation is a wonderful site that's over 300 years old. It represents 300 years of our nation's history, not just one family or one era, and has buildings dating from all three centuries here on the build, including our plantation house dating back to 1703, as well as a rare 1830 slave cabin and several other wonderful and historic buildings that are used with for exhibit spaces, programs, etc. Well, let's start with the uh, the plantation house. Tell mm -hmm. us what's in there. What what can a visitor see? Well, a plan, uh, the Plantation House, if you're coming on a guided tour, or even an, on Fridays we have audio self-guided tours, can wander through the houses, through the rooms, and see the rooms as they existed during the last build. But some of the spaces actually do go back in t uh, to the original build back in 1703. A lot of the furnishings you'll see were for the last family, the Satterleys and their daughter Mabel Ingalls. But the bones of the house, the construction, is still, a lot of it is the original construction dating, dating from the 1700s and 1800s. Now this, this was a, a slave plantation, a large one, right? It was a very large slave planta plantation. In fact, a lot of the structures you see would have been constructed by slaves. At its height, there were over 93 slaves. At its height, Sirely was over 7,000 acres during the Briscoe era, during the late 1700s. Slavery existed here until the time of emancipation when Walter Hanson Stone Briscoe was the owner. And you've got a slave cabin here? We do have a, a rare 1830 slave cabin. We're very fortunate in that it's still standing today. So often, because people wanted to forget about them, they let them fall into, into ruin. Tell me a little bit reality. about the gardens. The Colonial Revival Gardens are beautiful. They were started by Herbert Satterley. They have several different areas. There are cutting gardens, there are vegetable gardens, there are herbal gardens with medicinal, aromatic, and culinary herbs. They're used for um, education programs, as well as you can do special garden tours. We have spe several specialty tours you can go on if you bring a group here. And the gardens are completely taken care of volunteers. It actually even raised the money to keep the gardens going. But this was a working plantation. What, Absolutely. Was tobacco? Tobacco was one, it was a multi-crops uh, multi actually, though tobacco was one of, the, one of the largest crops here. There were also wheat, you know, there were a lot of animals here as well. But tobacco was certainly one of the big crops. And what are the hours? When is the plantation open to the public? Plantation is open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4, and Sundays noon to 4 from May 1st to October 31st. Now after that, same hours, but you just will not be able to get into the visitor center or go on a guided tour. All right, Nancy, thank you for the tour. Thank Nancy you. Easterling, the executive director of the Soderley Plantation in Hollywood, Maryland. Jeff, back to you in the studio.